What's up everybody, Adam here with eTrailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some custom fit towing mirrors for our 2018 Chevy Silverado. So this mirror is gonna be a custom fit. So as you can see, it has a nice molding to it. So it really just hugs your factory mirror. The mirror is gonna be able to pivot up and down, left and right. So we're gonna be able to adjust it however we need it just depends on what kind of trailer we have really and it is a pretty big mirror it's not concaved or convex so it's just a flat plane mirror and it's going to be about six and three quarter inches tall and about four and a half inches wide and as you can see it has a nice finish to it so it really matches the oem look which i really like just because this is going to be a definite upgrade from some of those universal towing mirrors i'm not a fan of those it's made of abs plastic polypropylene molding so this isn't going to fade crack or anything over time and as you can see there really isn't much difference between the factory mirror finish and this extended towing mirror finish so i really like that it's not going to be an eyesore and it's still just going to get the job done not only is this just going to give you a better look at what you're hauling it's also going to widen your view so if you have a long trailer and you're taking some wider turns or whatever the case may be, you're gonna be able to see a lot more than just your factory mirrors. This isn't really just for you. Of course, it's gonna give you peace of mind going down the road, just so you know what everything is going on back behind you. You have it in the line of sight, so you don't have to be white knuckling that wheel, but it's also gonna be for everybody else around you. You know, we wanna keep everybody safe on the road and having great visibility of the trailers you may be hauling is definitely a must. When it comes to towing mirrors, we're going to add a little bit of width to our mirrors. So from our factory mirror all the way to the farthest most point over here, it's going to be just shy of six inches. But when it comes to the thickness of your mirrors, it's not going to add anything. So we can still fold these in and it's not going to hit our trim piece. It's not going to hit our window or anything like that. So since it does add a decent amount, folding these in might be a smart bet if it's really tight parking. So these mirrors come in a kit of two, so all you gotta do is grab one and it'll come with both the right and the left side. It's a tool-free install, which I love, and I honestly really like the look. It's not really bulky and an eyesore like some of those universal towing mirrors. So what I'm gonna do now is actually I'm gonna go grab some other custom fit mirrors just so you guys can see the difference. So we're gonna go from my least favorite to my favorite. So we did wanna throw in a universal towing mirror so you can see how big of an eyesore it is. It's not the most stable option. I just don't like the look, and that's kind of the reason why I pick the custom fit over these, just because it just looks better. It does come with a bigger mirror than some of the custom fit ones, and you do have the option to kind of turn it like this or upright. So that is one thing that is kind of cool with the universal ones, but I'm just not a fan. So let's move on to my second least favorite, and that is gonna be these right here, just because they have a bird on the front, not a fan of that, but if you are, you can go for it. But it slides on, it looks good, I'm just not a fan of the bird on the front. We have a big mirror and it's gonna pivot just like all the other custom fit towing mirrors. But another thing I don't like about the front face is not only just the design, but we are gonna have a little knob right here whenever we install it. So it's not the cleanest look. And for my second favorite, it's gonna be the SEPA. And the reason why I kind of like this one is it doesn't really have any design on the front. It matches the OEM look. It just has a knob here. Not a huge fan of the knob, but it's not that big of a knob, so you can't really tell that much. But basically, I like the front. I like the way it looks. Looks pretty similar to factory, but just the knob kind of makes it look like that. And we do have another mirror, of course, it's gonna pivot around. And honestly, we really don't need this big of a mirror to get the view that I'm looking for. I've used all of these, but this is plenty big to get whatever you need. And the winner of all of them is gonna be the Snap and Zaps. Why? Well, there's no knobs on the outside. With this, all we have to do is you kind of just go like this, get it lined up, and then you just snap it down. It snaps into place. We have a smaller mirror compared to some of the other ones, but again, you really don't need a massive mirror to get that view. It's basically just how far out from your factory mirror that really gives you that view. But look at that. That looks OEM to me. You can hardly even tell where the crease comes over here because this bottom line lines up with that. And I just really like this one. This is my favorite by far. 
snap and zap. There's no knobs or anything like that. And you just snap it and zap it on and you're good to go. So this is my favorite. So those are your options. I really think that the SEPA was a very close second. So if you really don't mind having the knob here, it's gonna do a good job. All these mirrors will. It's just my preference to have a smooth face in the front. So if you don't like the knob, definitely go with the snap and zaps. It's a little bit quicker to put them on your mirrors as well. I definitely like all of them, but whenever you're shopping for towing mirrors, if you have a custom fit option, trust me, just go ahead and grab them just because they look better and they work pretty much the same as all the other ones, but it's a better feel and more aerodynamic too. And really with this, it wasn't that much longer than the snap and zaps to install these, but there are a couple different little steps that we have to do before we actually put them on. So if you wanna see how we did it, just stick around, we're gonna show you. First thing we wanna do is take these stickers that come with our kit and we're gonna put them on there. So one, we're gonna put one right here, kind of the skinnier one, fits pretty well. So we're gonna put that one there. And then what we wanna do is measure 10 inches and that's where this side will go. It's just gonna give it a little bit more extra protection so it's not gonna be kind of rattling around on your paint. So just peel that back and put those stickers on and that's basically it for that. There's that. And the same thing for this one. All right, so once those stickers are on, so make sure you have the right side, and trust me, you'll know, because if this wasn't the left side, it won't fit on as snug as this. So now that that's done, all we gotta do is grab the rest of our pieces, and basically we're just gonna kinda shove this in like this. That's why we put that coating on it. And then that should line up with this hole here. And then we take our little knob, line it up with the hole, and screw it in. Once that is secured, and basically that just pushes on that piece with the little coating on it. And that should make it nice and tight. We don't want to do it too much, but just enough turns until it kind of gives us a little bit of resistance, like that. And they're not going anywhere, so that's it. All we got to do is just do the same exact thing on the other side. And that'll do it for a look at the SEPA Custom Fit Towing Mirrors on our 2018 Chevy Silverado.